And now, which candidate will win? That's what voters across Georgia are waiting to find out right now. We have team coverage tonight at the candidates watch parties. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley kicks us off live at Senator Raphael Warnock's watch party at Atlanta Marriott Marquis downtown. Hey, good evening to you. Just within the last few minutes, we have seen hundreds pouring in here to the Marriott Marquis in downtown Atlanta to get a glimpse in person of Senator Warnock during his reelection bid. This runoff race really boils down to three things. We talked about turnout about half an hour ago, boils down to trust and takeaways. Let's talk about trust. And during this entire race, Warnock has uh, framed this as a race between him and Walker, between competence uh, and fitness, really, for this office. Saying, uh, we're not saying about his opponent, uh, Herschel Walker, he has faced uh, damaging allegations uh, personally when it comes to his past. Warnock himself has also faced some uh, allegations uh, against concerning domestic violence as well, but in ads and on the campaign trail, Warnock is called Ladies Walker gentlemen, unfit, please welcome not ready Bishop Reginald office, Jackson, criticizing the former Rabbi Joshua Lesser, for not and Imam offering clear Freeman policy El Amin. proposals. Warnock has also tried to appeal to people on both sides of the political aisle, touting his support for bipartisanship and relying on his personal values as a pastor of Atlanta's own Ebenezer Baptist Church. After nearly two years of doing this work, as frustrating as politics can be and as cynical as our politics has become um, because of the work that I'm able to get done for ordinary folks I love this job and while control of the Senate no longer is at stake in this runoff, still Democrats could win an outright majority in the U.S. Senate, uh, keeping in mind that the House of Representatives flipped over to the Republican Party in this latest midterm elections. We'll see how the results play out tonight. And coming up, we'll take a look at the takeaways from this Senate runoff and Senator Warnock's second runoff in just a year. Back to you.